Okay, so welcome to part two of batch filing filtering. Getting ready to make a video talking about atmosphere and frequencies. So we talked about that a little bit. Um, so you'll see here, guys. I'm gonna just go forward. See the difference of the grain, no grain. I wanted to show you some of this real quick before I go on to the next, the next level. If you can watch these over and over, um, I don't, I don't know if members can share them, but if you can, you want to, go ahead. I don't care. You should give, a, give my membership a shout out. You guys help a lot with your shout outs, you know. Okay, so I'm gonna go to the next file on this guy. So that was that was level number one right there. See, that's 955. Okay, so we're on 837. And I use this little movie and TV that's provided by Windows 10. Okay. It does the job. Well, welcome back. We're on level number. We're on the second video, and uh, we're doing some batch filing. Okay, and I'm not in a hurry, so you shouldn't be in a hurry. I'm gonna do this in a, a good atmosphere. So we went ahead. We're gonna go ahead and uh, save this picture. I think that's the next thing. Now this bandy cam gives you the opportunity of having a pencil and a typewriter and all that, so all I gotta do is take that off and I have access to the screen. Otherwise you have no access to the screen at all until you remove the pencil uh, animation for the pencil and all that, which is on the right hand side over here. So bandy cam has a lot of good tools. Keep in mind when you get bandy cam, you'll have all this to play with on your on your screen capture on your bandy cam. Bandy cam has all this, so you're able to point things out, hit the arrow. You're enabled to jump ahead. So let me jump back. So what I'm going to show you down here is. Um, you got your filter, you got it just the way you like it, and so you want to create a preset. And you can see that down in the preset. And I'm going to call this uh, video school, or whatever. So this filter is just for like this type of sky, dehazing it. You could hit dehaze and took the noise out. So the noise on frequencies, you want to try to match your music with what you're seeing and what you feel. So I see people out there, they'll put up a great sky, they'll take time and time lapse and everything, but they'll have some kind of like um, grunge music on it, and it just ruins the whole sunset. Okay, so now we're saving this, okay guys, in the same file, it has to be in the same file. Most of these work the same on other programs. Once you save it, then you open up your batch file. Okay, so the green line up here, I'm showing you the green line, but you can't see it right now, but I'll show it to you. Um, it's just your progress line. That's all you, most of you guys know that. So you go ahead and save it. If you, if you saved it once, just replace it, save it again. I did that. I want to make sure I save that file properly. You got meta tags and you got copyright stuff on this filter. Okay, so now we're going to go into um, batch filing. Okay, so we go into batch process. Now what we're going to create is a um, export folder right here, and I got a little tag, Cop by TV. You could change to whatever you want on yours. You could actually have your um, website address if you know how to put that in there, right? So we're going to open this up. We're going to go into PC, I think. I'm 
go down to the data folder. These are all on my desktop. I use my desktop now because that's why I don't forget I have footage I have to work with. If I bury it, I might not look at that footage for six months. So I've learned how not to do that. It's a Monday show. <laughs> Make me a new filter, a new folder. I'm not going to call it nothing but new folder. I'll open it up, point to it, and now you got a direction of path. So everything's going to go on a new folder. Now, I have to look at the pictures on my batch file are in that Monday folder on the desktop PC. I'm just going to point to that folder, not the new folder, just that folder. Upload them. Let the show begin. Okay, so now you can see the ones I've already worked with the Impixio uh, format on the back, right? So if it's. If the filter I'm using right now is lesser quality than what I have those other pictures in, then it will change them. But if it's better quality on the other pictures, it will stay the same. You'll see what I'm saying. But on the new pictures that are just JPEGs, they will change and they'll get a new abbreviation on the back and caught by TV. This is a really good tool. Uh, meta tags are like your, um, if you look at meta tags, metadata, it's like your tags for like Planet X, Nibiru, Planets, uh, Planet Nine. Those are your meta tag type things. We're going to go through SEO scores and all what all that means, okay? Because it all means stuff you need to know. Hoping I'm recording all this, guys. Check. Looks like I am. So we're on that same video. So it's going through your batch file right now. So each one of these is going to be 10 minutes, and uh, like I say, you can watch them over and over. Um, keep in mind that the different colors are in the sky, you're just going to enhance them. You're not going to add uh, hue and stuff to it. I don't add all that because it, it distorts it. And um, sometimes I distort stuff on purpose to bring it out, but most times I don't. And so um, we're going to bring those rays out. See those rays right there? Sometimes you'll pick up a UFO you never saw because of the filters. It separates it and gives a distinction. Um, so this is one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video, guys, because I see the sun going down. It's really strange. Black Star, Planet X Black Star, right? Let's go back to that next one. Um, these pictures in Acapulco here are identical type of sunset um, as these... And these are in um, Cancun, I think. So as this is going on, you know, you got to wait a second. And then once this file is done, we're going to start building the video. And there's going to be probably 15 parts maybe to this, this whole thing. I don't know. But it, it's no big deal because you'll have, as a member, you can come back and forth and watch them as many times as you need to to get it right. Um, one of the things that frustrates me when you go to a how-to video on YouTube, the guy will, he's like a tech, right? And he's going to do it so fast that you have to actually stop it, slow it down, have your other page up. Don't just teach you real slow, you know, and let you observe. Um, so this is doing the work for us, guys. 83 pictures, we got 33 of them done already. So if you're not familiar with batch filing, any kind of product you're using, open up your little side up there. See if it says batch processing. If it does, then go into your help file. Yeah, you got to read. Look for pro uh, batch processing or batch file. Also, you notice down here on the Bandicam, you'll see the hashtag CCTV CW. Okay, I'm going to create that hashtag on this video. And uh, I'm going to use it all over the place to draw people to my memberships. Uh, now look how that sun just turns off and it's a white spot. Let's go back to that. <laughs>